Brother Ted once said, there is no place in America where you can feel a sense of a life having been led so long and so faithfully as you do at Sabbath Day Lake. Furniture, music, communal living. The Shakers are known for many things. To the Shaker, everything is a gift from God, everything. Whatever we're doing, that's, that's a gift. And we try to labor on that gift uh, to bring it forth into a perfection. Rumors of the Shakers' demise have been spreading for more than 150 years. However, the village at Sabbath Day Lake is very much alive, sustained by farming and a flourishing herb business. And while their numbers have dwindled, Shakers still reside here. They welcome visitors eager to share the pastoral beauty of their historic home as they themselves go about their daily rounds. Hands to work and hearts to God. We labor for a gift of God. And Father James said, even my every breath is a prayer to God. And so everything we do, if we're scrubbing the kitchen floor and we're in that spirit of this isn't for me and I'm not doing it for that or not, but I'm doing it for, for the whole and for the greater whole, then that actually becomes a prayer that becomes a reality. And that was, the, that was one of the great geniuses of Mother, is that she lifted up physical labor to a place where it was spiritual. So we don't look down on labor. Everybody in the community has always labored. I don't care how august and supreme you are, you spent your day working. Hands to work, hearts to God. Notice Mother says hands to work first, before she says hearts to God because you have to have something to provide. So that's what we strive for each and every day of our lives. Founded in 1783, Sabbath Day Lake is the oldest religious community in the United States. Nestled in the rolling New Gloucester Hills, amidst fields and orchards, there's a sense of unity and simplicity here, the core of Shaker theology. The Shakers are very practical people. So it is, um, as Brother Ted used to say, we are to make life as little hellish for each other as possible. And so we strive to do good deeds and um, to make, make Christ visible and real to people. We touched on what we like to call the three C's, uh, which is celibacy, uh, in imitation of the life of Christ. Community of goods, because that's how Christ and the apostles lived. Uh, were all owned everything, but no one owned anything. And then third, which is the gateway into the church, which is the confession of sin or the opening of the mind. And uh, that's something that happens before you join, and then it happens all during your life. And it's a way of keeping communication open. Shakerism teaches that God is love, and it's one's duty to express that love in daily life. From the beginning, Shakers believed in the equality of men and women, and of all races. A radical concept in the 18th century, it still challenges many in the present day. While Shaker meetings have evolved beyond the exuberant movement and dance that earned them their name, singing is still very much a part of their worship. Tis a gift to be simple. Tis a gift to be free. Tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, we'll be in the valley of love and delight. We're very proud of that. And I remember one time someone said to me, so I suppose the gift song, uh, Simple Gifts, is your one fame to, uh, is your one claim to fame. And I said, oh, not at all. It's the person who wrote it who would be a claim to fame. Elder Joseph Brackett. He is the one who wrote Simple Gifts. He was an elder here and also served as an elder in the Alfred Shaker community. So we're very proud of him. The Shaker Meeting House, built in 1794, is one of six buildings in the village that comprise the Shaker Museum. The interior still boasts its original blue paint, inexplicably pristine. Changing exhibits and rooms furnished in the Shaker style as it has evolved over two centuries offer visitors a glimpse of Shaker life and ingenuity. While the name has become synonymous with furniture, the flat broom, circular saw, and washing machine are all Shaker inventions. And there are many more. 
Shaker handicrafts are also legendary. Poplarware boxes, baskets, and pin cushions were made by the women at Sabbath Day Lake, along with horsehair sieves, hand-dipped chocolates, and clothing. These and other items were sold to guests at the Poland Spring Hotel and elsewhere, commerce that sustained the community in lean times. The community was insular, but our goods and services had to be flowing out of here or we couldn't survive. So you always had brothers in particular who were going on sales routes. Well then, when the Sisters Fancy Goods take over in the 1860s, it's the sisters who were going out and being the salespeople all over New England. And they had a lot of friends from Poland Spring who were rather wealthy people. And they would entertain them down here. And you have to adapt. You have to adapt or you'll die. The Sabbath Day Lake Shaker Village is a national historic landmark, as well as a living history museum. Guided tours are offered from Memorial Day through Columbus Day. The village is closed on Sundays. However, those who wish to experience a Shaker meeting are invited to attend Sunday morning worship year-round. I think that what, what draws you in, though, is beyond the curiosity. I think that people walk away with a very positive sense of a life that has been led for over 200 years and how that life has changed and adapted and yet remained the same and how that still is a valid not only way of life but it's something that valid that still draws people into it and if only you're here for an hour or two you can still feel a part of it. More information and a calendar of special events including summertime concerts is available on the community's website.